the evening by welcoming you to our high school awards night. It is truly an honor to celebrate these students on their many accomplishments this year. Our multi-purpose space is appropriately named as it serves many purposes. In the spirit of the need uh, of need in which we focus on teamwork, tonight we ask if you are able to please carry your chair back to a classroom at the conclusion of the ceremony. Our staff will be outside the rooms to which uh, they need returns so that testing can resume tomorrow without disruption. Thank you in advance for all your help. We are live streaming tonight on our Facebook page and we ask that you avoid having conversations near the camera uh, <clears throat> in the back so that viewers from home are able to hear the ceremony. I would like to thank you again for your attendance tonight and your support of student life here in Neat. I will now ask Cameron Aff, Adams and Sine Perry to come forward to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance and ask that you please rise. <coughs> English department so we will be doing English 1, 2, and 3 awards for you. Uh, starting with English 1, so in language arts classes as I always tell everybody we read a lot of stuff, we talk about a lot of stuff, we write about a lot of stuff which is not always necessarily the most favorite activity for teenagers. Um, so the first award that I have typed for English 1 I call it my literary critic award for students who actually have a good eye and a willingness to dig into the literature with me who want to sort of uh, pick it apart and look for the underlying meanings and do the kind of deep level literary analysis that an honors English class is truly supposed to be about. So the English One Literary Critic Awards for this year go to Skylar Ambrose, and Lauren Waterfield. Wait, and if you'll hold up just one second, because you're just going to get a picture. All right. All right. Thank you too for always having great answers and conversations. And then, so 
sometime during the semester, there are those moments where a student turns something in that makes you go, wow, there is truly a writer inside of that student. There is some imagery, there is something beautiful pouring through that soul. And so, the Surprise Poet Award for English One this year goes to Ian Chapel and Tristan Turgeon. We'll save these for them. And finally, for English One, then we also have the Perseverance Award. For these are the students who they come into the class and they tell me I'm not good at this when they truly are. And then they hang in there and you see them grow and you see them learn that, you know what, I am good at this, I can do this, I do know how to handle these things. And you watch their confidence build because they put in the work to uh, and build the discipline, right? So the Perseverance Award for English One this year goes to Shania Shear and Alexis Abbott. We'll hold those as well. Coach Sutton, you want to take up English too? Hi everyone, I'm Coach Sutton and I coach English 2 and 3. So my first award for English 2 is the Creativity Award. And this is an award, um, an award that I wanted to go to two students, one from the fall semester and one from the spring semester. Um, for those students who really show creativity in anything and everything that we've created in English 2, I like to incorporate a lot of art and a lot of um, just overall things that go along with words. And so the first creativity award goes to Kate Cherbany and the second to Carly Hicks. <laughs> English 2 is the Kindness Award, pretty self-explanatory for two students um, both semesters that I just noticed we're always looking, opening doors for other students or just being genu generally overall kind. Um, so the first goes to Bobby Volpe and the second to Cameron Alfaro. <laughs> in my current English 2 class that we're wrapping up at the moment, and they were also in my J-Term class, which was a career and hobby writing class. And these two students, I just um, fell in love with their writing, every piece of it, um, big and small. And so I just wanted to um, give a shout out to these two students for everything, all the effort they put into their writing and how much they care about writing and their love of it. And so without further ado, I'd like to honor Belle Aldrich and Ileana Sexton. English 3, once again we have another creativity award, um, two of them, one goes to Madison Downey and the other to Michaela Berry. just anything and everything and so the two students um, that really earned the Perseverance Awards um, were Justine Brown and Miracle Morgan. English 3, we have the 
Class Caretaker Award. Um, this is an award I created because I felt like there were students in both semesters that really um, stood up as the moms and dads of the class. Um, and they really helped to get the other students in line or just kind of remind them of overall what we do um, as the neat way. And so the, this award goes to Janiah Wallace and Sienna Wickers. <laughs> and the student skills get more sophisticated, then we expect our analysis to get more sophisticated. So my literary critic award for English 3 goes to two students who absolutely just impressed me on many occasions with their ability to, again, dig in and see what, you know, the, the layers in the literature and to ask probing questions and just go to levels that were really exciting to see high school students exploring and to push themselves to really care about that level of, um, of thinking and critical work. So the Literary Critic Award for English 3 to Cole Folsom, Folsom excuse me, and Janaria Wallace. <laughs> Times did Cole ask me a question? I was like, "Wow, I don't know. Let's figure that out." Let's not put you on the start off the awards um, with Math 1. My first award is the Achievement Award. These students worked very hard um, to maintain a high grade in Math 1, and this award goes to Kendall Pearson, Sanea Perry. is the Determination Award, and these students were persistent in working hard every single day. They never gave up. They would ask question after question until they finally um, understood the content. And this award goes to Juliana Norman and Michael Perry. Character Award. These students just displayed kindness, um, honesty, um, all of the good qualities you could expect to have in students that you teach on a daily basis. And this award goes to Jasani Norris and Joshua Hughes. go to my math two students from first semester. I'll start off with the achievement award. That goes to Rachel Hines and Robert Colby. The 
determination award for my math two students goes to Jacob Thompson and Tevin Walton. And my last award for math two, the character award, goes to Skylar Ambrose and Cameron Stoner. Emily Adams. I teach math two and three here at NEAT. So I'm going to start off um, with my math three awards. Um, I taught math three last semester for one session and this semester for two sessions as well. Um, if you can ask anyone about math three, it is unlike math one and two. Um, yeah. <laughs> so it is definitely a step above. Um, so I'm going to start with the character awards for math three. Um, so these, um, you know, go out to students who, like I said, it's it's a challenging course, and they they kept working at it, but they also like were very real with me, like a one on one, and you know we just kind of needed to do what we needed to do. Um, they also came to me if they were struggling or if they were happy about something, but also they were you know telling me about also something that an, a peer could not tell me, like you know they wanted to be that voice. Um, so the first one goes out to Nicole Guzman Torres. She has definitely, um, you know, made some great improvements and strides from last year when I taught. Um, I taught all these students, by the way, also in math too. So I have seen the growth from year to year. Uh, next one is going to go to Kristen Mateo. Gabrielle Hoskins. And Caleb Potter. my character awards I have um, two also from math two one from this year and also one or the sorry this semester and one from last semester as well um, these young ladies like I said also worked hard and diligently but were not afraid to send me an email um, you know, during or after hours but also like I said they would be the ones to speak up when their peers were not um, you know able to um, so for math two is Raven Valdasm and Claire Reynolds Right, next is going to be my determination award. So again, um, I taught all of these students in Math 2 and in Math 3, so I definitely have saw the growth. So the determination award for these um, select students are the ones that just never gave up. Um, you know, Math 2 was virtual last year for majority of them, so they came back Math 3 ready to fire, ready to work, and they definitely not only achieved, but they persevered and they, again, just never gave up. And it definitely showed um, you know, even throughout, you know, the EOC and such like that. Um, so the first one goes to Dylan Muirhead. Vincent Denny. He's never afraid to send multiple emails about one problem. <laughs> Last year too. <laughs> Sienna Winders. Huge growth from that too. Huge growth. <laughs> Jessica Shaw. <laughs> Cole Folsom. <laughs> and Audrey Rose Garrick. Again, huge growth from that too. Yes. Ooh, right. There you go, guys. Yes. <laughs> Next set is determination for math two. Um, so again, 
just you know never stop never sending or never stop sending emails asking questions kept on working um addison Britt. and never stopped. Um, Sammy Shaga. This is for Matt Free. Kate Savini. Avery Ox. Othello Reese. Adrian Smith. Thomas Rhett McKinney. Michaela Berry. That's for math three. We got one more section of math two in a minute. Two. Uh, Drake Cartwright. <laughs> Trevon Light. <laughs> Joseph Hollers. <laughs> Alex Turka. <laughs> Bell Aldrich. These are not only my achievements, but excellent participators. Good evening, I'm Lindsay Cahoon, and I had the pleasure of teaching advanced functions and modeling this semester, and so I have two awards to give to two juniors who took that class. Um, for achievement and determination, Leah Mundy. of um, working with some Spanish kids this semester as well. Um, and let me just tell you that they all deserve a round of applause because they worked really hard this semester through a lot of change. Um, and so I'm very proud of every single one of them. So you all deserve a round of applause. As for the achievement awards, I have a couple to give. And they are Claire Montero. Bobby Wolfe. Emmanuel Perez. Nicole Mayer and Raymond 
Ben Nelson. Achievement Award for her science goes to Sinead Perry and Cole Garrett. Science, Andrew Bales and Kennedy Hoskins. Jonah Fredericks and Joshua Hughes. Science Determination Award, Trovon White and Barrett Hewitt. Science, Mackenzie Davenport and Tevin Wall. And chemistry, we have two awards Thomas McKinney and Sammy Shaw. Creativity, um, her critical thinking um, in uh, coming up with a problem or solving a problem. Um, and so the Innovation Award is going to Addison Britt. <laughs> Caleb Potter. <laughs> Kristen Mateo. Hard through challenging topics. 
um, and the award is going to Alyssa Brown. Award is going to a student who took both biology and biotech um, and really uh, was creative in solving cross curricular problems. Um, and this award is going to Alexandra Pitchford. Biotechnology is going to a student who um, worked through um, some setbacks and um, learned a lot, especially in video design. Um, so this award is going to Dylan Griggs. Coach Taylor. I am actually new to the school and I've taught two different classes that would be civics and American history and I tell you every one of the kids in these classes has made my year but there are a select few that have really stood out so I'm going to go ahead and start with my American history. I have two different awards I hand out. The first would be the achievement award which is not just academic but also all the effort they put into the uh, class itself. So for my American history, I want to start off with uh, Audrey Rose Garrett. She has been phenomenal all year. And then I also give out a creativity award. This is somebody that puts, not alone does the work, but puts all the effort in to make that work special. So for my American history, it would be Thomas McKinney. So now I have two separate civics classes that I have uh, taken on this year. So for my achievement award, I have Anseli Porath. everything you've done for me. Good evening, everyone. My name is Coach Spitz, and I teach robotics, um, technology, engineering, and design here at NEAT. I have a few certificates for determination in Robotics 1. These certificates go to students that showed hard work throughout all of the challenges of the class. If you have Robotics 1, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Jonah Fredericks.
Skylar Ambrose. And Kennedy Hoskins. Kennedy, if you would just stay right there for a second. Um, I also have an award for showing determination in my applied robotics class. Kennedy actually took both of my robotics courses at the same time, and um, I would actually like to reward her for determination in both. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Kennedy. My next award is for determination in technology, engineering, and design. Major Perry. Gavin Taylor. Bradley Boone. Georgia Wand. Eliana Sexton. Design class. Um, I took a group of students to a wind turbine competition. It's called the Kid Wind Challenge. Um, it takes place in all states, um, all over the United States. And we participated in the Eastern Virginia Kid Wind Challenge. So I took this group of students there. It was part of the PBL that we did in class. They worked very hard on creating these wind turbines. And one of my groups that I took there actually came home with an award for sportsmanship. So I would like to recognize all of the students that participated in the Kid Wind Challenge. Haley Blackwell, <laughs> Caleb Houston, <laughs> Hezekiah Powell, <laughs> Colson McDonald, <laughs> Shania Sheard. David Bundy. Thank you. Aviation. This year has been wonderful. Uh, the students and I, we went to the Wright Brother Memorial. We did a egg drop uh, test with drones. We flew kites. We made World War I, World War II models. We've done a lot of very wonderful things. Um, so I'm going to be giving up two awards tonight, or two uh, separate awards. The, the first one is Academic Excellence, and the second one is uh, Creativity Award because with all the different 3D modeling we're doing, it's, it gets very complicated to have a successful project. And um, some of our students have done a stellar job uh, with these, uh, I would consider them uh, works of art. Okay, so the first award is for uh, Academic Excellence for Drake Cartwright. Skylar Ambrose. Okay. Aviation One, Emmanuel Perez, Academic Excellence. Academic Excellence, Emily Meads. 
academic excellence, Kennedy Hoskins. Working with the students in advanced manufacturing. In this course, the students have the opportunity to earn an industry certification before they ever manage to graduate high school through the MSSC program, which is the Manufacturing Skills Standards Council's Certified Production Technician 4.0 certification. These students will take four modules through the course of the program and come out with an industry certification that will get them a job anywhere in the manufacturing industry, but especially in our area here. These students have managed to achieve their safety certification in this single semester before graduating high school. We'd like to recognize all of them tonight. First, Cameron Adams. <laughs> Wyatt Bond. Addison Britt. Caleb Burris. Dylan Burke. Lucas Kahn Vincent Denny Cindy Devine Michael Garrett Audrey Rose Garrick. <laughs> Ava Green. <laughs> Jordan Heaton. <laughs> Andrew Light. <laughs> Benjamin Mayer. Nicole Marr, Ryan Overton, All right. Malia Perkins, Kendall Pearson. Christopher. 
Christopher Soto. Ethan Tanner. Michael Trueblood. Trevon White Patrick Wheatonfeld I want to give a moment for these students to get theirs and then hold tight for just a moment In the spirit of neat moving students along when they're ready to move along, these students were also offered the opportunity to earn two credits in a single semester by completing two sets of modules and taking the certification exams. And the following students rose to that challenge, earning two certifications in one semester. Those students are Dylan Burke for Quality Practices, Nicole Marr, Quality Practices. Christopher Soto, Quality Practices. And Trovon White, Quality Practices. Well done, everyone. Hey everybody, I'm Coach Bryson. Uh, I teach the computer science, digital media, yearbook class. Um, I don't have that many awards to give out. Uh, sometimes people say that I talk a lot, so I'm going to try to be real brief and fast. But I do have something I'd like to say about uh, some of these young people that are going to win some of my awards. Um, this first award goes out to, as a computer science teacher, a lot of times people are really excited to be in your class. They, they love computers. They, so this first award actually is a determination award. This goes to a student who did a great job, always was one of the first people to complete the work, had every answer. This was a new subject for me, so sometimes I'd turn to her and say, What's the answer? And she'd always have it for me. And so um, she was not one of the kids that was always in the computers, but she was just one of my absolute favorite students, uh, Sydney Frumkin. was uh, my app developer of the year. In my coding and mobile classes, we um, actually make businesses and develop apps that work on phones for these businesses that we've created. This young man um, actually created a uh, auto parts uh, business that he was gonna start, and he's developing an app that um, really is really awesome. Um, so I'd like to give this award out to Aiden Morris. I'd like to give a coding award out to. He was uh, in a couple of my different co di uh, excuse me, a couple of my different coding classes. Um, every time that there was an assignment that kids struggled on, I could always turn to him and say, "Hey, why don't you show him? Why don't you show them how you worked it out?" Because he didn't know anything about coding when he started my classes, but he was willing to just go into it, figure it out. Sometimes in coding, you put you don't put the right S at the right spot, and it makes your whole app break. He never gave up. He never, ever let that stop him from making some really amazing things. Caleb Salazar.
one more coding app to give out. This one goes out to a, a young man who, um, when, when I would always say, hey, that, that dude knows how to code, he kills it. His friends would always say, him? Because he kind of goes through life kind of with a smile on his face, easy, cool, breezy, never seems like he, he's really engaged in it. But then I turn around and I was like, wow. And I'm serious, like, would teach me how to do things on these coding apps. So um, this last award goes to my man, Quincy Commander. This was a, this is, I'm 17 years into my career. I'm always trying new things. Um, and so uh, I got uh, the, the idea that, okay, this was what I was going to do. Um, never seen it before, never had any idea. And oh, on top of that, uh, got a two month late start. So it was obviously a, a little bit of a stress. And, and I, I can on, honestly say that um, this next person, if, if uh, she hadn't uh, been in my digital media class to, uh, really carry the load. Um, if you, if we, I got a lot of credit for getting the book out on time and it looked really nice, but the truth of the matter is a lot of this credit should have gone to Cameron Smith. <laughs> yearbook out on time, making it look as good. But on top of that, my digital media class was a really unique class because on top of that, we were also making uh, a lot of digital broadcasts. And uh, this young man, uh, I think that some some sometime in the near future, we might be uh, seeing an award show like this with his, uh, uh, someday you'll all have to watch his uh, movie about Peach Cobbler. I'd love to announce uh, Jeremiah Newton. I don't, like I don't like Pete Cobbler. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, I, I'm almost done. I promise. Last award. This final award here uh, goes to a student who was usually the first kid I walked in that I saw in the mornings was in my class. Um, he spent a lot of his days in my classroom. Uh, just. He, uh, always, always, always the best attitude, the hardest worker, and on top of that, really knew his stuff. Another kid I could always turn to if I was ever like unsure of what I was doing as a new teacher to this subject, I'd like to give this award out to a fellow Reese. certifications to get out tonight. Uh, I'm not going to go as long as Coach Bryson though, or Coach Adams. Just letting y'all know so you can thank me later. So the first certification, oh you got it going for it? We got it. All right, so the first certification, and once you get your name called, come down here and stand for your picture, uh, especially with the CPR and first aid certification because there are a lot of you. Um, for NSC lift truck operator training, Damian Cartwright. Janaya Wallace. Micaiah Powell. 
and Leah Mundy. We also have certifications for OSHA, Cameron Adams. Gabriella Batetta. Logan Bishop. Sierra Burnett. Drake Cartwright. Lucas Kahn. Cynthia Devine. Hunter Elliott. Jonah Fredericks. Gavin Gay. Andrew Light. Hayden Nesselrode. Ryan Overton. Micaiah Powell. Michael Trublow. Denaria Wallace. And Janiya Wallace. just to save your hands. Just please, trust me. Uh, just hold your applause until I get through. I don't know, it sounds, sounds like 45 minutes. Um, Jalen Herring. Gabrielle Hoskins. Barrett Musgrave. Luke Edwards. Audrey Rose Garrett. Caitlin Harrell. Kelsey Harrell. Stacy Johnson. Leah Mundy. Ariana Owens. Somebody said we pulled it. Georgia Wong. Yeah. Allison Hobbs. Emily Noble. Cameron Stoner. Zoe Nuningham. Yeah. Newingham. My bad. Not Newingham. Okay, just wanted to embarrass you, so it's okay. Holly Servini. Lucas Cherbany. Jacob Kamarowski. Jeremiah Coop. Drew Wolf. Jaylee Cox. Aww. I taught her. <laughs> Mackenzie Davenport. Gavin Farley. 
Gavin, yeah, do you have on pants? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Oh, they're short shorts for giving me fits. Roy Fitzpatrick. I told you I'd never let you live in Cindy Frumpkin. Hey, you talk this one. You do realize it's gonna be like nine minutes, right? Oh, Lord. It's okay, but you put the tall one in back. It's okay. <laughs> Jameer Amin. Michael Garrett. Oh, no. Really? We're kneeling down for team photo? <laughs> Thomas Diarmano. God, I can't go anywhere with y'all. Andro Graham. Brianna Grant. Evan Hopper. Demetrius Johnson. Aiden Morris. Barrett Jones. Kashad Jordan. Yeah, make sure you put in trouble right in front. Nicole Bear. Benjamin Bear. Dylan Muirhead. Adrian Arnold. Yes, Ben, I think you need to go in the back. <laughs> Bodie Blackford. Caitlin Brown. That's where I'm almost done. Dylan Burke. And Daniel Castro. So, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, if you could please give all these young men and women a round of applause. Adams, I still beat your time. I did. I'm getting there, Hopper. I'm in the back. This year has been a phenomenal year. We've had over, uh, we've had 41 students um, participate in our internship program, and so tonight we're going to recognize uh, the students that have been involved and where they actually did their internships as well. And we're excited about what the future looks like. We had uh, over uh, 70 and close to 80 responses for uh, next year for our internship program as well. And I just want to give a shout out to the students for this year. I told them that they were going to have to put up with me learning along with them. And we had some uh, hard lessons that we learned, uh, some valuable lessons, though, that I think. Um, and I'm so proud of each of them that have had to work through some adversity as they uh, transition and uh, work in the schools, or we work in their workplaces. So um, I'm just going to recognize each student and where they did their internship. And you can come stand right up front because I'm not quite sure how many are actually here. Uh, first one is Dylan Burke. I'm going to do an internship at Pastor St. County, uh, the rec department. Uh, next is Holly Servini. I think she's here. She did her internship at uh, Department of Social Services here in the Louisiana City. Next is Jeremiah Coop. His internship at Motion Sensors. 
Mackenzie Davenport, who did her internship at Pastor St. County Library. Sydney Frumpkin. Sydney did her internship in the fall at Studio 511. Audrey Rose Gierk. She did her internship at Amaro Orthotics and Prosthetics. Thomas Giarmano did his internship. Did his internship here at Neat in the tech department. Brianna Grant did her internship at Montero's. Gabrielle Hoskins. She also did her internship at uh, Almaro Orthotics and Prosthetics. Keaton Hurdle did his internship at Parish Aviation Services down in Edenton. Krishna Jordan did his internship at Arsley Almaro. Benjamin Mayer. He did his uh, internship at J.H. Sanders Aviation, and we're hoping to get in a plane this week for the first time ever. Uh, David Morris, BS, uh, BMS Enterprises. Uh, Dylan Muirhead, was it Southern Maine Donuts? Yeah, he didn't bring them any either. Um, Leah Mundy, was with Photography by Jill. Ariana Owens. She did her internship at In Stitches. Grady Pitts. Grady did his internship at Hall Auto Body Shop. Sophia Stevenson. Her internship at Studio 511. Aiden Vasquez. Also, I did his internship here at Meet. And these last two uh, were in internships both the first and second semester. Uh, Mason Iriarte did his, uh, both of his internships with the tech department here at Meet. And then Andrew Rosewall. Did his first internship at CB's Auto Tire and Service, and this semester he was at Patriot Performance and Automotive. So, round of applause for these kids. Thank you. The next award is going to uh, a few select 10th grade students who exemplify the neat way. Uh, we are lucky enough to be with our advisory students from freshman year all the way to graduation. So we've been with this, these students two full school years now, well Adam and I have. Um, so we've really gotten to know them and these students are just model neat students. Jakayla Hunter. <laughs> Dylan Fowler. Vincent Denny, Alexander Sy Harold, Matthew Jimenez, Alyssa Brown, Othello Reese. Gavin White. Yeah. 
Robert Volpe. Tevin Walton. Mackenzie Shrove. Jeremiah Sawyer. And Kristen Mateo. internships, just a lot of the things that we do here that we feel are really important. And so the Connection Awards go to Dylan Burke and Luke Edwards. School of Science and Math and the Governor's School Awards today. This year, we had two students who were accepted into the North Carolina School of Science and Mathematics. Admissions into this program is very rigorous, and numerous 10th grade students from around the state apply for admissions each year to attend in their 11th and 12th grade year. This year, we have a student who will be attending NCSSM at their new location, Morganton, and a student who will be staying enrolled at NEAT, but will take a few online North Carolina School of Science and Mathematics courses next year. We would like to recognize Avery Otts and Michaela Berry for this accomplishment. School. The North Carolina Governor's School is a multi-week summer residential program for gifted and talented high school students integrating academic disciplines, the arts, and unique courses on each of two campuses. Learning focuses on the exploration of the most recent ideas and concepts in each discipline, and it does not involve credit, tests, or grades. Students are selected to attend through a competitive process after being nominated by their school. This year, there were over 1,700 applications. We would like to congratulate Ryan Searle on being selected to attend Governor's School this year. His focus will be in mathematics. Good evening. I'm Coach Matt, and I will present the Governor's Award for Volunteer Service. This student is hereby awarded the highest designation of appreciation for distinguished volunteer service to the people and the state of North Carolina and is to be granted and extended all honors and courtesies provided by the office entitled Darren II by the Certificate of Recognition and Appreciation. And this is signed by Roy Cooper for Amaya Rivera. Thank you.
Good evening. At this time, we would like to present our Latin Honors Awards. These awards are based on GPA. We're going to begin with our ninth grade students who are cum laude. That is a GPA between 3.75 and 3.99. When I call your name, please come up here and get your certificate and then stand in front so we can get a group photo. Bradley Boone. Sean Bricker. Bryson Cox. Jonah Fredericks. Henry Green. Samuel Harding. Anne Marie Manovich. Ezra Musgrave. Owen Cassick. Wantel Person. Allison Riddick. Ashley Rowe. Connor Searle. Shania Sheard. and Gavin Taylor. Magna Cum Laude students earn a GPA between 4.0 and 4.24. These are our freshman Magna Cum Laude. Skylar Ambrose. <laughs> Haley Blackwell. Drake Cartwright. Amelia Finnamore. Cole Garrett. Alan Coe. Ansley Luzon Torres. Faith McKenzie. Colson McDonald. Madison Mitch. Lydia Molenkoff. Juliana Norman. Iko Owens. Kendall Pearson. Emmanuel Perez. Sine Perry. Eliana Sexton.
Zania Kier. students earn a GPA of 4.25 or higher. These are our ninth grade summa cum laude. Cameron Adams. <laughs> Britt Addison. <laughs> Kate Cherbany. Helen Donahue. <laughs> Rachel Hines. <laughs> Kennedy Hoskins. <laughs> Joshua Hughes. <laughs> Elia Kleinschuster. Brett Luton. Hayson Meter. Emily Meads. Claire Montero. Adrian Smith. And Tanner Thomas. Congratulations to our ninth grade students. Students will begin with our Kun Wad. Candace Alfaro. Kristen Mateo. Jackson McCarthy. Miracle Morgan. And Philip Turcotte and Trovon White. Gabrielle Batetta. Elisa Brown. Vincent Denny. Dylan Fowler. Samantha Harris. Zoe Newingham. Emily Noble. Naziah Sears. Cassidy Smith. and Cameron Stoner. <laughs> Our 
our 10th grade summa cum laude students, Isabella Aldrich, <laughs> Michaela Ferry, <laughs> Sierra Burnett, <laughs> Jacob York, <laughs> Anna Huey, Matthew Jimenez. Tanner McDonald. Thomas McKinney. Avery Otts. Caleb Potter. Sammy Shago, Cameron Smith, Robert Volpe, and Gavin White. students, Justine Brown, Jacob Komorowski, Brianna Copley, Brianna Grant, John Headley, Gabrielle Hoskins, Landon Cassick and Nadia Skull. Jaylee Cox, Madison Downey, Thomas Giormano, Barrett Musgrave, Kylie Rossio, Amaya Rivera, and Hannah Whistler. Summa Cum Laude, Lucas Cherbany, Luke Edwards, Lauren Heath, Evan Hopper, Keaton Hurdle. Ryan Searle, <laughs> Kylie Simons, <laughs> Joshua Twitty,
Haley Williamson. Drew Wolf. And Gretchen Wooten. offer a theater class as an elective this spring and um, as we began to explore the work of theater artists in class we found some folks who had a true natural talent in some of the design areas so I wanted to recognize our design divas this year in costume design Miss Sydney Frumpkin <laughs> storytelling, Miss Karen Stoner. <laughs> and of course in the theater class we also study acting. And so I have two awards tonight, very special awards for two students who came into theater class when I'm not an actor. I don't want to be on stage. I don't ever want anyone to look at me ever. Um, and by the end of the class, they both volunteered to be part of our showcase where we actually invited an audience and people watched them and they did an amazing job. And so I am super proud to present the Brave Choices Awards tonight to Cindy Frumkin and Mackenzie Davenport. Robotics competition team, the award winning first robot. I am so very proud um, of these young people. They have done wonderful, wonderful things this year, as they do every year. Um, this year, they brought home two plaques and medals, and they made it to the semifinals. So I am very, very proud of their accomplishments this year. Um, a special shout out to Coach Michael Taylor for his help on the team. He's also a <laughs> team. So 
you all would come up. I'm going to refrain from calling your nicknames. We give them all nicknames. I want y'all to always call out your nicknames. Yes! 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 <laughs> okay, Miss Addison Britt, also known as Addie. Ansali <laughs> Torres and Lydia Malikoff, also known as. <laughs> Bobby Volpe, also known as Contact. <laughs> Brian Hodges. Eliana Simpson, also known as Dynamite. Gavin White, I think Gavin White's here. Janaria and Janaya Wallace. They are also not with us tonight. Cameron Adams, also known as Cam. <laughs> Kennedy Hoskins, also known as Ken Ken. <laughs> Payson Meter, also known as Turbo. Ryan Searle is not with us tonight. Tevin Walton also not with us tonight. All right, thank you. recognitions tonight will go to our SGA representatives and officers. So first I'd like to recognize our president, Luke Edwards. <laughs> our vice president, Gabrielle Hoskins. SGA Secretary, Kylie Simons. <laughs> Next we have our ninth grade rep, Kennedy Hoskins. Our 10th grade rep, Cynthia Devine. <laughs> and our 11th grade rep is Janiya Wallace. <laughs> Thank you all for your service to me this year. At this time, I would like to ask our staff to move to the assigned station for closing of our ceremony. I would like to personally thank our coaches for all their efforts to support your students this school year. Let's recognize our coaches with a round of applause. Congratulations to all our high school students and their accomplishments. A special thank you to, to the parents and caregivers for ensuring that your child is set up to be successful each and every day. It has been a pleasure to celebrate our students. All of you have modeled the neat way. The work that I have seen in the classroom this school year has been outstanding. 
As a reminder, we ask that if you are able to please carry your chair down the hallways, including the back orange hallways where staff will be outside the doors of those classrooms in which chairs will be returned. Thank you for allowing us to serve your students and good night. Thank you.